Hi everyone, today's makeup tutorial is going to be on this glowy pumpkin spice latte inspired makeup look So if you want to learn how I did it, then just keep on watching First off to get that dewy skin look I've partnered with BDL to share their Luma layer primer with you this primer is amazing. It reflects light in a way that I've never seen before and just gives so much dimension to your skin. It has prismatic pearls that combine red and blue pigments to illuminate the skin and give it that really beautiful glassy skin look. You can really see the difference here between the right side of my face where I've applied the primer versus the left side of my face, which is a bit more dull looking. On top of that, it's really lightweight. It feels just like a moisturizer. You can use it as primer, you can mix it in with your foundation or even use it as a highlighter at the end. It has mild ingredients and something that's really important for me, it doesn't irritate my skin or cause acne. Here I'm just quickly priming my eyelids before applying foundation. Okay, for foundation, I'm using IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Foundation and just applying that all over the face with a beauty blender. Now I'm just going to take some concealer for the spots that need a little bit of extra help. That would be around my mouth area and the under eyes and I also have some hyperpigmentation on the top of my forehead. You can see now where the primer is working. It's really helping to radiate the high points of the face and just reflecting light and creating dimension in those areas. Moving on to brows, I'm just going to fill them in quickly with my dip brow pomade. For the eyes, I'm going to use Urban Decay's Born to Run palette. I'm starting off by using a gold shimmery color. This is going to act as the base for my eyes. Next, I'm taking the color Riff, which is a light brown color, and I'm going to use it as my transition color. Then take a bright orange shimmery color and just apply it all over the lids. This shimmery color is the spice part of the makeup look. Take a blending brush to help smooth out the edges. Next, take a bright orange matte color and apply it to the outer corners of your eyes. This will help create some dimension to the eye look. Take a dark brown color and add it to the outer corners of your eyes. This is going to help create some smokiness. Moving on to the lower lash line, we're going to take the shimmery gold color again and apply it to the inner corners of the eyes. Take the matte orange shade and apply it all over the lower lash line, blending it in with that gold shimmery color. Take a bronze shimmery color and apply it to the lower lash line, but only in the center. Take a brown pencil liner and tight line your top lash line. I know I look completely crazy here, but I didn't want to mess up my eyeshadow, so I'm using another brush to help hold my lid up. Then line your lower lash line, but only in the outer half of your eyes. I'm also going to add a little bit to the top lash line in the outer corners to intensify the smokiness. Now just take a smudger brush and just go right over the liner that you drew in the outer corners of your eyes. This includes the top and the bottom lash lines. Taking a brown liquid liner, I'm going to draw a very small wing. Then apply your favorite lashes and don't forget to curl them. These are the Kiss Lashes in Shy. I want to highlight and add a bit more glow, so I'm going to use the primer again. I'm adding it to the back of my hand and taking my beauty blender to apply it to my cheekbones, down my nose bridge, the tops of my forehead, and also on the chin area. I wanted to do this before contour and blush because I feel like it would blend better that way. For my nose contour, I'm going to use a contour stick. For some reason, I just find that contour sticks work better over my nose and the texture than a powder contour. For the rest of my face, I'll be using this powder contour from Charlotte Tilbury. For blush, I'm actually going to use this lip product from M Cosmetics. It's the perfect shade of orange for this makeup look and the creamier consistency is going to blend really well with the products I already used. It's going to help retain a lot of the glowiness and dewiness of the makeup look. You can apply this with a stippling brush and just dab it over your cheeks, but I just chose to use my fingers. We're also going to use this lip product as the lip color to finish off the pumpkin spice latte makeup look. And we're done! I hope you enjoyed watching this glowy makeup tutorial for fall. If you're interested in learning more about the VDL Luma Layer Primer or any other products, I will link them down in the description box as always. 
Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!